back to my channel. I am Lauren J. If you're new here, welcome. So I wanted to do another version of the five on five. So it will be February 5th when I'm posting this, which I think is Friday. And it'll be five thoughts on five new makeup releases. And when I say new, I mean new-ish. I mean, some of these are new-ish because I know as soon as they're like a week old, they're no longer new, they're old. It's just how, just how the cycle rolls, but I still have thoughts about them and I will talk about them. So we're gonna, we're gonna do that. So I'm gonna pull them up on my saved list on Instagram and we're gonna talk about it. Happy February. It has been a long January, long January. And it's been a really quiet January for brands, which is not unusual. It's just really boring because there's also not anything else going on. Uh, I mean, other than world events, but you know, uh, things are, things are pretty quiet in the makeup world. It's, it's been a little bit of a struggle to find five things that I'm actually interested in and want to talk about, but, um, thank God for the indies. The indies are always coming through, so I have a few things and let's get into it. So the first thing that I want to talk about is something that is already on its way to me and it is right here. Angelica Nyquist times Kaleidos Club Nebula palette. So excited for this. Um, it is a blue and green dream with some deep reds and purples. It is very much her. I love Angelica. She is like my YouTube best friend. She doesn't know me. I She's just my, my pretend YouTube best friend. But um, I just, I am so excited to get this palette. Um, I was a little like concerned when I first saw it. I'm like, oh, it's that big bulky packaging that they use for the skate pod. But then I'm like, you know what? It's, it's fine. It'll be good. So it is 15 shades. There are like a variety of deep blues and turquoises. And there's a few, there's like a deep red and some purples. So it does remind me a bit of this guy right here. So if you saw my five on five for January, you will know that one of the things that I said I was going to get for sure was the Nomad Iceland palette. It is what is on my eyes today. And this is one of those, it's a beautiful mix of cool tones with pops of warm. And I feel like that's really been a theme for indie brands. This January is Cool tones with a pop of red or something like that. Blue tones with a pop of red. And I don't hate it. I don't hate it. It just makes me want a lot of, want to buy a lot of things and then that gets really expensive. So this is, by the way, a an absolutely wonderful palette. And I am certain that the Kaleidos palette, once it shows up, will be wonderful. I've not ever tried Kaleidos. So I picked this up and I also picked up the Electro Turquoise palette, which if you know my aesthetic is like perfect for me because I love those silvers and aquas and oranges. Like I really, really love those kinds of tones mixed with browns. So that will be coming probably at the end of the month, maybe. Well, I don't know. It'll it'll be a while. It'll be a while till it gets here, but I'm I'm so excited for this. This is this is number one on my list of things for February. Congratulations, Angelica. I can't wait to use the palette. So next on my list is from an indie brand, and this is Tammy Tanuka. And it is this guy right here. What is it called? The Wondrous Wild, the Wondrous Eyed Wildcat. So it is, I think one of her, she calls them like her egg palettes or something like that. Um, so, but it, this is, this is really pretty. This really turned my head when I saw this. And I, I understand it's very light. It's very basic. It's very like pop of aqua with a bunch of neutrals, but it's very pretty. And it, it is making me consider buying something from Tammy Tanuka. Uh, I don't think it's going to be this. I think I would... I'm going to wait till I see if she goes for something like a little bit deeper, deeper blues, something like that. But this is really pretty, really sort of 
winter going into spring. I think it's really beautiful, lovely duochromes, and they look so nice. The packaging, I've seen people use the lavender chinchilla, and um, uh, Nikki Raven has a couple more palettes of hers that she's used that just, they look beautiful. So eventually I want to try Tammy Tanuka and this has definitely got my, my eye on the brand. So the Wondrous Eyed Wildcat palette. And I believe it was available as of January 24th. This one was just revealed a couple days ago and there's already a video up by Angelic Nyquist on it. Uh, we're seeing a theme here. And this is the Odin's Eye Norns collection. So the Norns apparently, I think they're like the three fates in, I don't know if that's the correct parallel, but I think that's what they are in Norse mythology or their three queens, something like that. Um, but this is the Norns collection. So there is a 16 pattern palette. There are three highlighters and there are three um five pans six pan eyeshadow is it six pans i think it's six pan. well technically it's six, five pans with six shades five pans with six shades i think that's yeah okay so again this is again giving me those vibes of like a green palette a cool tone palette with some pops of like warm orange in it like it's giving me that vibe but this is like i saw anya look do a blue teal look with this today and i was like Oh, I really, I really, and there's no pressed glitters in it, which was the reason I did not buy their last one, which was beautiful and bright and had tons of blues in it, but it had like two or three pressed glitters in it. So I didn't want to pick that up. And this one has no pressed glitters in it. And it's, it's really hitting me, but I don't know. I think, I think with my Iceland palette and then with uh, the Kaleidos palette on the way, I don't know. I don't know. I, I got to think about it some more, but um, I definitely am interested in that blue highlighter. I love a blue highlight. I like, I just, I like it. I, li I like the way it looks. I, I don't care. I'll wear a blue highlight. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not really interested in any of the three mini palettes, but yeah, this, the 16 pan palette. Wow. I, mm. I, I have thoughts and those thoughts are that I want it, but um, I need to be responsible because I have a lot of eyeshadow I still need to use. So I still have a couple of ColourPop palettes that I bought last year that I still haven't. Yeah. Okay, so that is Odin's Eye. So where are we? We are going to go to ColourPop because ColourPop. And um, I'm going to be nice to ColourPop this week because I actually do really like this collection. This is the Wild Child collection. It is a beautiful bunch of deep, browny, lovely tones. Like, I really adore the colors in this. And I really do like the palette. The issue is, is there's a pressed glitter in the middle, which they're not really calling it pressed glitter, but it's a pressed glitter. Um, and I also have the brown sugar palette. I love the brown sugar palette. And this seems pretty much identical, maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit warmer. Maybe it's a bit warmer. But I mean, I love that brown sugar palette. It is one of the prettiest palettes that ColourPop has ever put out. Um, so I don't hate this. I really do. I really do love the color story. I love the lippies. The lippies look really pretty. I don't know much about the lippy stick formula I've never tried it and it's not like a format that I'm into I like a bullet lipstick and super shock shadows are just just go to waste because they just dry up on me but yeah this this wild child palette um I like I like the direction that they are going in and I hope that this continues and they keep doing interesting things now they did release the Animal Crossing collection, which I don't play Animal Crossing, so I don't care. Um, they also released the Melrose, the Off Melrose collection from Ulta, which it's cute, but it's super neutral and I don't really care. And then they just announced the Valentine's collection. And we're not going to talk about it. We're, 
and I can talk to you. So I can talk about it. But anyway, keep doing, keep doing this. Colourpop, keep doing, keep doing this. I like, I like this. Do something, do interesting things like this. I like it. I like it. I like it. <sighs> okay, and the last thing that I am going to pop up right here is this, which was just announced, I think, last night. And I think LS had the scoop on this. Um, this is the Naked Wild West palette from Urban Decay. Now, I told you at the beginning of this episode that my aesthetic is oranges and aquas and silvers and browns and like, so this, it's just, it's so pretty. It's really pretty. I just, I don't, uh, uh, what, I mean, <sighs> here's the thing. I have this. I have the Urban Decay Beached Palette. With the exception of the silvers and the greeny mattes, this is pretty much the same thing. And I like this palette. I like this palette a lot. I think the quality of this palette is really, really nice. And I don't regret having it. I just, I don't use it a ton except for in the summer, but this is a beautiful color story. And the thing is, is that I have it from Urban Decay, so I don't need to get a naked palette with, and I, I it looks like it has a silver, and I wonder about the quality of the silver. And um, I'm not sure if those greens in there are mattes or shimmers. I hope that they're mattes. It would be perfect if they were mattes. But I feel like there's just a few too many tones on the neutral side, on the on the beige side, and um, there's there's those pretty beautiful rusty tones too. I would say a good half of this palette is really calling to me, but half a palette is not good enough if I have to pay for the whole palette. And what are these like fifty two dollars normally? I don't even know. They're they're expensive. It's a beautiful concept. I love the whole southwestern silver and turquoise. Uh, I love that whole theme. It's beautiful. It's a color story that really, really calls to me, but I, I, I will definitely be watching to see people swatch this and do looks with it, but I don't think I'm going to buy it. I think I'm going to pass because I just, I'm not a big Urban Decay girl anyway. And um, the palette that I already have from them is pretty much this, just the like the sunnier version of it. So let me know what you think about these five releases that I mentioned today. Um, there's always going to be something from ColourPop. There's just always going to be something from ColourPop because they're going to release something every week. So there's always going to be at least something to talk about. Anyway, again, the look on my eyes is the Nomad Iceland palette. I did talk about this in my January version of this video. On my cheeks, I also talked about the Anastasia Iced Out Highlighter. That is another thing I talked about in, the, in that video and that I'm wearing in this video. So, yeah. Um, I think out of the five things I talked about in that video, I bought three of them. So, yeah. Yeah, still thinking about that Blueprint palette, but it hasn't come to Sephora yet. So, I'm still, I'm still back and forth on it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Give me a like, comment, subscribe. Do all those things that the YouTubers want you to do so that people see their videos in your feed. And thank you again so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.